the negation rules. In this video, you will learn about the negation introduction and negation elimination rules. These rules vary depending on which system of natural deduction you are using. The program we are using, Deductions, also has several options programmed. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the Fitch-style negation rules. Negation introduction and negation elimination, the Fitch-style ones at least, are so similar that we are going to talk primarily about negation introduction. We will talk about negation elimination at the end of this tutorial. Negation introduction says that if you can make an assumption, and that assumption leads to a contradiction, you can assert the negation of your assumption. The reason is that logicians don't like contradictions. Contradictions are bad, explosive in fact, and logicians don't like explosions. So, if an assumption leads you to a contradiction, things are in such dire straits that the negation of that assumption must be the truth. Consider the following example. Suppose your friend claims to have written a computer program that plays chess. This chess program, boasts your friend, is so good that it can beat every single opponent. It always wins. We can show, logically, that it is impossible to have such a program play chess. First, we begin by noting that in the game of chess there are two sides, and that it is impossible for both sides to win. It's possible for both to tie, but impossible for both to win. Therefore, let's make our first assumption, if C, then not B, where C stands for it's a game of chess, and not B means it is not the case that both sides will win. Our second premise is based on the idea that we have a chess program that never loses. But now let's imagine that we make the chess program play against itself. It plays both sides of the chessboard. So, because this chess program always wins, it must be the case that in this game of chess, both sides will win. This is our second premise. If it's a game of chess, C, then both sides will win, B. Now, we are actually going to take as our conclusion that your friend's program does not actually play chess, not C. It's not actually a chess game. To show this, we use negation introduction. Let's set the justification of our conclusion to negation introduction and select make assumption. When making an assumption for negation introduction, you will be asked for the assumption, the target, and the negated target. The result already exists. The assumption is formed by slicing the negation symbol from the front of our result. So, in this case, our assumption is going to be C. The target and negated target form our contradiction. Sometimes you won't know what contradiction you were looking for, in which case you select use placeholders for target and negated target. But in this case, by inspecting our premises, it seems likely that our target and negated target are going to be B and not B. Select Make Assumption. So here's the thing. On the assumption that we have a chess game, we get contradictory results. On the one hand, because the computer program always wins, it must be the case that both sides will win when it plays against itself. So we get B from 2 comma 3 conditional elimination. But on the other hand, because it is a chess game, it must be the case that both sides don't win. We get that, not B, from 1 comma 3 conditional elimination. But as you can see, B and not B are contradictory. Both sides win, and both sides don't win. This is bad. Because things are so bad, we now go hunting around for the assumption that led us to such a bad place. It was the assumption that we have a chess game at line 3 that led us here. 
so it must be false that we have a chess game. This permits the inference not C. In other words, it's not the case that we have a chess game 3, 5 tilde introduction. So that's how negation introduction works. In sum, if you make an assumption that leads to a contradiction, you are entitled to infer the negation of that assumption. Negation elimination works the same way, except that instead of assuming a formula, getting a contradiction, and asserting its negation, you assume a negated formula, get a contradiction, and assert your assumption less the leading negation. So instead of assuming A and getting a contradiction and asserting not A, you assume not A, get a contradiction, and assert A. And that's how negation introduction and negation elimination work.